step into the world of a timeless war movie The Bridge at Remagen, released in 1969. This film takes you back to the final days of World War II, depicting the intense battle for a crucial bridge over the Rhine River. As you immerse yourself in the gripping story, be prepared for a mix of emotions. The Bridge at Remagen not only shows the harsh reality of war, but also includes funny, surprising, and sad moments that will keep you hooked. Ever thought about what makes this movie a lasting symbol of the film industry? Or maybe you have a personal story of how it has inspired or affected your life. But the journey doesn't stop here. We want to hear your favorite memory or personal experience connected to this film. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. There's more to explore, and we're excited to take this cinematic journey with you. So buckle up and keep watching. There's plenty in store for you. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. We're eager to hear from you. The bridge at Remagen is often overlooked and underappreciated, but it stands out as an excellent war movie. The storyline revolves around a typical theme where Germans, desperate to impede the Allies' advance, aim to destroy a crucial bridge. In the waning months of WW2, a lone German major is tasked with overseeing the destruction of the bridge at Remagen, while the Allies are equally determined to secure it intact for a reliable entry into Germany. Major Kruger, portrayed by Robert Vaughn, presents the German soldier as honorable and endearing, challenging the common portrayal of them as bloodthirsty killers. Unlike other characters in war films, such as Otto Preminger in Stalag 17 or Joerg Stadler in Saving Private Ryan, Kruger's character is vastly different, adding depth to the narrative. Ben Gazzara and George Siegel deliver compelling performances as American soldiers, depicting the challenges faced by hardened veterans striving to hold on to their humanity amidst the chaos of war. The mission becomes their totem, offering hope for an end to the conflict and a return to civilian life. While the film excels in portraying the complexities of war and the human experience, some viewers might find the finale less satisfying as it introduces an unexpected element that may diminish the investment in the characters. Overall, The Bridge at Remagen is a noteworthy war film with strong performances and a compelling narrative. In the world of war films, The Bridge at Remagen stands out as a gripping story set during the final days of World War II. The Ludendorff Bridge, a crucial element in the movie, has made its way into video games like Call of Duty Finest Hour and Panzerfront. The film introduces a character played by Robert Vaughn, known for his roles in The Magnificent Seven and Battle Beyond the Stars. Vaughn's ability to portray similar characters in different settings adds depth to his cinematic journey. Amidst the war narrative, the bridge at Remagen offers a glimpse into Vaughn's personal beliefs. As an active liberal Democrat, he supported Hubert Humphrey and Paul Tsongas during the 1968 and 1992 presidential elections. His involvement in political advertisements highlights the varied backgrounds of those contributing to the film. As the movie captures the complexities of war, it extends beyond the screen, becoming part of various media from video games to political campaigns. The Ludendorff Bridge's presence in gaming platforms reinforces its cultural significance beyond the initial release. In the war movie genre, The Bridge at Remagen remains a hidden gem. With Vaughn's consistent portrayal, The Bridge's continued appearance in different forms of media, and the actor's political engagement contributing to its legacy. The film's impact endures, transcending its original release and leaving a lasting impression on both the cinematic and gaming landscapes. In the backdrop of World War II, The Bridge at Remagen unfolds as a war film exploring the complexities of the conflict's final days. The Ludendorff Bridge takes center stage, proving crucial not only in the movie, but also making its way into video games like Call of Duty Finest Hour and Panzer Front. In this cinematic journey, Robert Vaughn, known for his roles in The Magnificent Seven and Battle Beyond the Stars, steps into a character that adds depth to his repertoire. Vaughn, fueled by an early passion for acting, delivers a portrayal that goes beyond the typical war movie archetype. As Major Kruger, he challenges the prevailing image of German soldiers, presenting a character both honorable and endearing, a departure from the usual portrayal of them as mere antagonists. The film also marks the final appearance of Peter Van Eyck, concluding his cinematic journey with a notable role. The Bridge at Remagen introduces a unique narrative twist, offering unexpected elements that may influence viewers' connection with the characters. 
While the mission becomes a totem for American soldiers portrayed by Ben Gazzara and George Segal, the finale introduces a layer of unpredictability that may leave some audiences contemplating the intricacies of war. Beyond the screen, the movie embeds itself in various forms of media. Vaughn's involvement in political advertisements, showcasing his active support for liberal Democrats during presidential elections, adds another layer to the film's legacy. The Ludendorff Bridge's presence in video games reinforces its cultural significance, transcending its initial release and leaving a lasting impression on both cinematic and gaming landscapes. In the war movie genre, the bridge at Remagen remains a hidden gem. With Vaughn's consistent portrayal, the bridge's continued appearance in different forms of media, and the actor's political engagement contributing to its lasting impact. As the film navigates the complexities of war, it leaves a lasting impression that reaches beyond its original release. The Bridge at Remagen, a war film released in 1969, carries intriguing behind-the-scenes trivia. Despite his close friendship with Peter Falk, Ben Gazzara surprisingly never appeared on Falk's Columbo series, despite directing two episodes. Gazzara, a skilled actor in his own right, showcases his talent in the movie alongside George Segal. A notable fact about the film's production is the choice of the bridge at Davil, Czech Republic, for filming, which interestingly is 100m shorter than the actual Ludendorff Bridge at Remagen. This decision adds a layer of authenticity to the movie's portrayal of the intense battle for a crucial Rhine River bridge during the final days of World War II. In a familial connection, George Segal, one of the lead actors, is the father of Elizabeth Segal and Polly Segal, and the uncle of Nick Segal. This family link brings a personal touch to the cast, reflecting the interconnected nature of the film industry. These nuances contribute to the film's dynamic, showcasing the complexities not only within the narrative, but also in the relationships and choices of the actors involved. The bridge at Remagen, beyond its on-screen impact, weaves together a tapestry of personal connections and location choices that make it a unique piece in the realm of war cinema. Filming the bridge at Remagen faced an unexpected hurdle during the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia in August 1968, disrupting production. The cast and crew found themselves in a precarious situation, forced to evacuate to safety in a convoy of 28 taxis. Notably, actor Robert Logan chose to stay behind, capturing the invasion on film and photo, showcasing dedication to his craft that went beyond the call of duty. To navigate the challenges, a strategic decision was made to construct a half-replica of the bridge near Castel Gandolfo, the Pope's summer residence south of Rome. The production was then completed in Hamburg, Germany, and various Italian locations. The team's adaptability and resilience in the face of adversity underscore their determination to bring this wartime narrative to life. The movie's significance goes beyond production challenges. In 2007, BBC Radio presented Solo Behind the Iron Curtain, a drama based on the Soviet invasion starring Robert Vaughn as himself. This unique twist adds another layer to the actor's connection with historical events, showcasing the bridge's impact both on and off screen. Moving beyond the film's production, Vaughn's association with the bridge at Remagen intertwines with his broader cinematic journey. Vaughn's presence in four Best Picture Oscar-nominated films, including The Longest Day and A Touch of Class, solidifies his status as a consistent contributor to acclaimed productions. In a peculiar twist of fate, Vaughn passed away just one day before his co-star Jessica Walter, marking a poignant moment in the intersection of their careers. This synchronicity adds a somber note to the shared experiences of the cast, highlighting the interconnected nature of the film industry. The movie's influence also extends to the familial realm. George Segal, one of the lead actors, has familial ties with Elizabeth Segal and Polly Segal, along with being the uncle of Nick Segal. This personal connection weaves a network of relationships, mirroring the interconnected dynamics within the movie industry itself. In conclusion, The Bridge at Remagen transcends its on-screen portrayal of wartime complexities. From the challenges of its production to the interconnected relationships within the cast, the film remains a testament to resilience and dedication. The unexpected twists and connections further enrich the narrative, making it a unique and enduring piece in the cinematic landscape.